Are you trash on defense? Do you keep complaining about sliding while trying to defend a left writing play shot whose name is I be moving comp K? Stop left writing your bum ass! More or less, are you tired of being a lame ass nigga? Hey yo, what does that have to do with 2K22 defense? Are you the bozo that are always asked where the hoes at? But when the hoes indeed show up, you start shaking out of your crocs. Yo, who is this guy? How does he know this information? I thought this was a defensive tutorial. Shut up, you loser. Are you the guy whose breath Yo, shut up, nigga. Like Stop speaking. Your no, tongue close your tongue, you slave. Oh my god. Like Yo, police, arrest this black monster. Yeah, what's good, YT? I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope you guys have been positive so far. Really quick before the video starts, hit that like button, subscribe, post notifications on. Huh? See, y'all think I be playing when I say these stage niggas' names really be some weird. I run stage for. What the? Mind you, this stage is lit. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, my nigga. Niggas would rather play stage with two other niggas that have never touched a female in their life. I'm talking about they look at a female too hard. These niggas are shaking in their livers. Niggas would rather do that than to go to school, bro. And I ain't talking about the elementary or middle school kids, bro. Them niggas are already gone. Them niggas got Lil Nas X posters in their room. I'm talking about you high school niggas. Y'all niggas like a year or two away from being a bum. But anyway, let's get into the video. I'm gonna teach you guys how to be gods at defense, all the settings, all the moves, everything you need to know. Let's get into the vid. Grrr. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna do in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best defensive settings. Now, do not worry about us being in the main menu right now. It transfers over to your player in park, rec, whatever, wherever you play, bro. Even if your player side career is a stripper shaking that ass, you're you gonna be able to change some settings inside here. Now, you wanna go to options, controller settings, and you wanna go straight down until you see defensive assist strength who the guard should always be on your pro stick defense needs to be on absolute as well defensive assist strength as you can see in the description determine the effectiveness of ai defensive moving assistance all right so this is basically how much you want 2k to help you honestly this stiffens up your my player a lot so the more you put this on like you put this on 100 your player is not <coughs> his lateral quickness has to be on super saiyan god for you to effectively play defense so if you're not on a defensive bill if you do not have hall of fame clamps let me say that you're lateral quickness and perimeter defense is under 83 i would recommend you guys to put this on 25 now for my perimeter locks the lockdown you have hall of fame defense and i have heard from a lot of comp lockdowns that play in the stage and personally i've talked to them they say that 15 works the best because you're locked down your perimeter defense and lateral quickness is so high you don't really need that much help from 2k but if you still think you're sliding too much or this is a problem you don't like this Yo, only up to 25. Do not put this anything higher. You feel me? 15 to 25. I will teach you how to not slide anymore later on in the video. Now, for my centers, I would recommend you guys to put it on like 25. You don't really need it on anything higher as well. Unless you're all red. All reds are basically as big ass locks. Then you can put it on like 30. But I would just recommend if you're a center to put this on 25. All right, you whores. This is the best bad setup I would use. If you do not have clamps on Hall of Fame, the next best thing you could use is clamps on Silver. If you do not really guard ball, I would take off Pick Dodger and then put it on Rim Protector. I still can guard ball even with Bronze Pick Dodger, so you don't worry about it, bro. Most of the time, I go against people with two guards, so that's why I have Pick Dodger on anyway. Now, if you guard ball, this would be the best bad setup for you. Hall of Fame clamps, the next best thing other than Silver clamps, you need to have that on Hall of Fame. Now, I know a lot of people be like, bro, you got to chase down on Silver. You only need it on Silver. You do not need chase down artists on nothing other than Silver. I'm a play shot, and I'll be spanking nigga shit off the backboard. I'm pinning that. All that. Alright, yo, for my centers, this is the bad set if you want to use. Do not worry about box speed on goal. I'm a guard and I be boxing those centers that have Hall of Fame box, worm, all that. And they still sometimes going to get boards over me. That's no cap. That really happens, bro. Feel me? But this is a bad setup. Chase down on silver. That's the highest you need it. Interceptor, you don't need it. Nothing higher than silver. If not, if you're locked, then put down gold. But, like, this is a bad setup. 
All right, now I'm finna teach y'all how to really play defense in this part of the video. This is gonna be on how to stop sliding. Now, first of all, I'm not putting this clip in here to show y'all that I'm cooking this nigga. Although I'm cooking this nigga. Why I put this clip in the video is to show you how you should not play defense, bro. First tip I could give you on sliding is, yo, you cannot play defense like it's 2K21. If you play defense like it's 2K21, you're gonna get cooked. In 2K21, you could hold L2 and then hold turbo so you can get straight from left to right. This year you cannot, you will get slidey. This guy right here, what he's doing is he's holding R2 too much. He's holding turbo. He's being too reliant on turbo. I don't know if anyone ever made a video about it or mentioned this in the video, but the one true way on how to stop sliding in 2K is by playing hands up defense. If you play hands up defense, you will not slide at all. The only disadvantage to that is that you wouldn't be able to effectively chase somebody. If you just play hands up defense continuously throughout the entire play niggas are just gonna run to the far side of the court and shoot an open shot because you wouldn't be able to get there fast enough all right also what you have to do on defense is stop holding turbo you just hold intense defense and move with your left analog stick and like do not hold turbo the only time you hold turbo if someone is actively running away from you and even when that happens i would say limit your turbo use do not hold it like just get a little burst of speed and that's it do not hold turbo or you will get slidey or niggas will cook you, bruh. Alright guys, in this part of the video, I'm going to teach you guys how to effectively play lockdown ISO defense. In this game, there's a lot of left, right, and then, feel me, sliding. I already taught you guys how not to slide, and now I'm going to teach you guys how to play ISO defense. Let's get into it. Alright, we already starting off good. Now, notice what I do. Tip one, you always want to force your opponent on the side of the court with the least amount of space i am going to force the ball handler to where i want him to go i'm not gonna let let him dribble left right and dictate where i'm going bro you never want to just stand in front of the guard because then you're at his mercy if he decides to go left right left left you can't do nothing about it but if i'm playing on his hip i'm playing on his side and forcing him in the direction he can only go right you see how i'm forcing him to the right i'm repeatedly forcing him to the right end periodically you're seeing me use hands up defense let's bring that back the reason i'm using hands up defense as i told you before hands up defense forces you not to slide you do not slide when you're using hands up defense so check me out right here so if i see him like he was moving and then he just stops as you know in this game the defender doesn't always stop on a dime so when the guard stops that's when you see me start to use hands up look at me using hands up defense so i can reposition my player so he can like continue playing good defense now right here i did a bad job by not continuously forcing him to the right but now since i did a bad job i'm gonna make up for it i'm gonna force him to the left side of the court this is where cash can either bait him and get a steal or if i get cooked Cast can pick up on him and I can just run the Cast's man or something like that, you feel me? Also, notice how I'm using the hands-up defense so I can't slide. You see how the hands-up defense helped me to get a clamps animation as well. That's also an underrated tip people don't know. Hands-up defense actually allows you to get clamps animation better, bruh. And while I'm playing defense, I'm not holding turbo. You never want to hold turbo. Only hold turbo when you are chasing somebody. And even if you're chasing somebody, let's say Cash is the ball handler. This is my team at M Cash Money. Let's say he's the ball handler and I'm chasing him, right? What I'm going to do, I'm only going to hold turbo until I'm to this shadow right here. That's when I'm going to let go turbo and start like doing hands up defense or something, bro. Alright guys, this is another gameplay where I will go more in depth on ISO defense. Now check me right here. Right now I'm trying to force him to a side. I'm not playing like directly in front of him, bro. I'm not trying to face him up. I'm trying to play, I'm trying to force him to a side. Right there, I allowed him to go on the other side because I reached. That is a tip. Reaching will cause you to get cooked. Limit the time to reach, bro. You only want to reach if the guard is like actively standing still doing a combo. That's when you want to reach. Like, for example, right here, when the guard is trying to momentum, that would be, if I was in front of him, that would be a good time to reach. Okay, now, as you can see right here, because I allowed him to go on the left side of the court, I'm trying to force him to the, you feel me, to have this little space. I don't want him to have this big old, big booty ass space over here. I want this nigga to feel claustrophobic. Now, check me right here. That's a bad reach, because right here, he could have simply, like, just tried to speed boost over there. But thank God, Cash was here. If Cash was not here, and he just speed boost all the way over here, it would have been an easy three. Now, check me out right here, bro. I'm not holding turbo. Right here, I'm not holding turbo. This is just intense defense and moving my left analog stick, bro. That's all I'm doing. Now, right now, I'm going to have to chase him. He's right over here. I stop holding turbo from I get here. You want to stop holding turbo near the player. 
Do not stop holding turbo when you're in front of the player. Stop holding turbo when you're near the player and use hands up defense so that you can get back to your defensive stance. You see how I did that right here? That's how I do an effective chase. Now right here, I did a bad job because I'm still trying to hold hands up defense thinking he's going to go left. I did not predict his movements correctly. Now, if I did not try to use hands up defense right here, and if I did just rely on my defensive ability with the intense D button, I would have been in front of him, but I still forced him into a bad shot because Ivy jumped at him right here. That's a bad shot, you feel me? That's how you want to play ISO. Let's go over the tips one more time. One, you want to force your opponents to a side, preferably the side with the least amount of space and in the vicinity where your teammate can pick up if you get cooked. Two, you want to know the tendencies of the player you're guarding. Bro, if a nigga's a two-way slashing playmaker, I am not going to be all in his chest by the three-point line. I'm going to allow him some space. I'm going to bait him into shooting so I don't just give up tools every play. But if a guy is a play shot, I'm going to limit the space I give him on the three-point line because I don't want this nigga to just kill me with threes. Three, only use turbo to chase. Even when you do use turbo, don't hold turbo. Just use turbo to get it near the ball handler, bro. And use hands up defense after you're done using turbo to get your player in a dominant defensive stance. Tip number four. Don't defend a player by just standing in front of him, especially if you aren't a lockdown. Lockdowns have high perimeter and lateral quickness, so lockdowns have the ability to just stand in front of an opponent and simply lock him up because they have high defensive stats and badges. Five, do not reach. If you do reach on an ISO, try to limit it to at least one per possession. And the best time to reach is as soon as the player stops or tries to combo up. Also, I reach with the right analog stick and set a square. That's helpful as well. Alright guys, and in this section of the video, I'm finna teach you guys how to blitz, okay? Blitzing is literally just running at the player and forcing him to drop the ball, just poking the ball loose. Now, check me out right here. Now, the guard, the guard got the ball inbound. Ivy's over here. He's not going to go to the left because Ivy's there. Why would he go to where another opponent is? What I'm going to do, I'm going to predict it. Now, he just may be a dumbass and still go left. Now, if I'm wrong in my prediction and he goes up court, then that's an L. Because then if Cash picks up on him, Cash's man is open. That's my fault for being too greedy. This is how you blitz, y'all. I see he's going to the right. See, he's starting to go to the right. I'm not going to run directly at him. I'm, I'm going to try to predict where the ball is going to be. I'm going to run to where I think he's going to end up before he even gets there. And right there, I run right over here, and then I'm going to press square. Once I press square, he's going to drop the ball. Look at that. Blitz. That's what a blitz is. Now, same play, and this is the same guy. Of course, he's not going to go to the right side of the court because that's near out of bounds. He wants to go to the left where a lot of spaces and let's look at that one more time he wants to go to the left where a lot of space is and right again you have to be good at predictions in order to be good at blitzing bro you feel me right here again I'm gonna press square i'm gonna predict where he's going i'm gonna press square and i'm gonna get that steal don't jump for me baby Bow! hey what you need nigga i got pills i got lean nigga all right, guys, in this part of the video, I'm going to teach y'all how to effectively guard screens. Now, I would hope that you watched all the content up until this point. You watch how not to slide, how to guard ISO, because all those sections will help you with guarding screens, believe it or not. It's intertwined. All right, guys, first thing you need to know about guarding screens is that the guard will always try to go on the side where the screen is. What you want to do is you want to play on the hip of the guard on the side the screen is. So because the screen is on the right side, I'm going to play on his right hip. I'm not going to allow him to use the screen. I want to prevent him from using the screen as much as possible. And you do this by simply holding the intense defense button, which on PS4, it is L2. So I'm just going to hold L2. Sometimes you want to play hands up defense so your player does not slide into the screen by mistake. Another tip is if you accidentally go into the screen, you do not want to be holding L2 or Turbo. Do not hold those two buttons because they allow you to get hit harder by the screen. If you see your player about to go into the screen, you just want to use the left analog stick to like try to maneuver back to the guard to play proper defense. As I told you guys, see he tried to go back to the right side where the screen is. Now his teammate dropped to try to get open too, which Ivy's not allowing. And I'm going to force him to the side where Cash is because my teammate could potentially pick up on him. Another advanced tip is I'm going to try to blitz him because the screen is over here, as I told you before. He's always going to come back to the side where the screen is. So I'm going to get a little cheeky and predict that he's going to do that and I'm going to try to get a blitz. So I'm predicting he's going to come in this direction right over here. 
I'm going to come over here, press square, and try to get the ball. Now, I don't know what in the dark arts Houdini shit, how this nigga got the ball, but he got it, my nigga. He got it. All right, guys, other tips that are important to playing defense, we have to learn what a soft and a hard heads is. So let's say I get hit by a screen right over here, right? And this nigga goes to the right. Let's just say he's right over here. That's where my arrow is pointing. Let's say he's right over here. Ivy's only going to bait him into thinking that he's going to pick up on him. So Ivy, the furthest Ivy's going to go is like right to this elbow right here by the free throw line. That's far as Ivy's going to go. And then Ivy's going to run back to Honcho. So he doesn't get an easy two, and I'm gonna try to recover on Zenlet. A hard head is if I get hit by a big body, Ivy will pick up on Zenless until I'm able to recover. That's a hard head. That's what you really want to do to prevent threes, especially when you're playing against play shots, because these niggas can shoot anything even you contesting these niggas are green shots a uh, other tip is you can just switch like and if you do switch you have to know how to play lanes like right here I get hit by a big body I get hit by a screen I'm not able to defend him so Ivy's gonna switch also the time on the shot clock is going down so Ivy's gonna full-on switch he's gonna do a hard hedge into a switch and I'm not gonna try to go pick up on him I'm gonna just go try to pick up on the center and when you're doing this, this is how you play lanes. You're going to try to predict the nigga passing the ball. And that's why I press square. You see my player doing a reaching animation to try to get a steal. But that's how you play screens. All right, Joe, that's the end of the video. Um, th Don't worry about how my, my player looks, bro. This is a mistake. Um. Yeah. So me and Earl here appreciate y'all for watching the video. I hope that you guys learned how to play defense. Like, comment, share this to a friend that cannot play defense. And keep in mind that I'm a play shot teaching you guys all these defensive minded stuff, nigga. I'm really Kawhi in the head, nigga. No cap.